Hi friends, welcome to my channel Pharma Knowledge by Satyanarana Siyadri. So we have discussed about a few of the topics in the pharma industry, pharma led subjects in earlier classes. Uh, today I want to uh, share some of the basics knowledge in the laboratory. So basics in laboratory uh, I want to discuss because uh, I observed few of the uh, trainees joined in the laboratory. They, they have a lack in the awareness about this uh, small small things like basics, PPM, percentage and how to convert them. So that is the reason I am making this video. So we will discuss today what is a PPM and what is a percentage and the relationship between PPM and percentage and conversion how to do from percentage to PPM, PPM to percentage and how it is useful in the laboratory, the pharma industry. So let's start with PPM. PPM abbreviated that parts per million. So one part in one million parts of another one, maybe a solute in solvent like that. It means the one gram of solute present in 10 lakh volumes of solvent and one PPM is equal to one gram per 10 lakh ml of solvent. It can be expressed as a milligram per liter and how it come we can see here one gram per 10 lakh ml. Suppose one gram is equal to we know 1000 mg if we calculate it we can get this 1 mg per 1000 ml of solvent it means 1 mg per liter so 1 mg per liter solution means it is a 1 ppm solution when it comes to percentage percent this name itself it is the percent means per 100 so i have given example here suppose 1 percent weight per volume solution means 1 gram of solute present in 100 ml of solvent. Suppose 1% weight by weight solvent solution means 1 gram of solute present in 100 gram of solvent. I have given explanation here. 1% we know 1 gram per 100 ml. 1 gram again 1000 mg. We will calculate it. You can get a 10 mg per 1 ml. We know already uh, 1 mg per liter is equal to 1 ppm. So 1 mg per is equal to uh, 1 mg per ml is equal to 1000 ppm so here 10 mg per 1 ml it means 10,000 ppm so I have given some of the calculated values here 1 percent means 10,000 ppm 0.1 percent means 1000 ppm 0.01 percent means 100 ppm 0.001 percent means 10 ppm 0.001 percent is equal to 1 ppm so these are the values you can use for the calculations directly and we can do number of calculations by using this and uh, conversion is some of the during this calculation in the laboratory are to prepare the solutions uh, we may know this uh, conversion part uh, from ppm to percentage percent to ppm it is very important so i have given here explanation if you have a x percent of solution then you have to multiply that value with the 10,000 then you will get the solution in ppm or the value in ppm. So if you have a solution or a value in ppm level then you have to divide, divide with 10,000 10, then you will get the value in a percentage. Examples I have given here. Suppose in case of conversion of point not one percent solution you have you want to know the ppm of that solution then you have to multiply with 10,000 so the result is 100 ppm. So if you want to convert a 10,000 ppm solution into percentage then you have to divide that 10,000 ppm by uh, 1,000 ppm by 10,000 then the result is a 0.1 percent. So like this way you can calculate the solution you can convert the percentage to uh, ppm ppm to percentage by using this uh, value you can uh, use your calculations or to prepare the concentration solutions you can use this formula. And importance uh, as we discussed uh, uh, during the laboratory analysis, uh, maybe some of the monographs or STPs we are referring at that time, they will give prepare a 1 mg per liter solution or a, a 10 ppm solution or 1 ppm solution. They will say one general statement. So but we know these uh, conversion factors and uh, what is ppm, what is percent, we can easily prepare the solutions. So in the laboratory, uh, during preparation of solution it is useful. And uh, to calculate the results, uh, conversion, some of the case uh, standard uh, they will give constant in a uh, ppm level 
and sample you may get uh, so a concentration then you have to convert that uh, uh, single EOM then only you can calculate the results and to calculate the concentration of solution as we discussed so these are the few of the important uh, importance in the laboratory about this PPM and percentage uh, thank you I hope you all understand today's topic uh, thank you for the watching